it. Hi, you're on Tradio. Hi, you're on Tradio. All right, 586-979 is his phone number. Uh, of course, that's our first call of the day, getting us into this uh, Monday edition of True Radio. Let's go back to the phone lines. Hi, you're on the air. Okay, and what can we do for you, sir? What you got? I have a gas grill. It is about five years old, but it runs great. And I, and I, I currently uh, have a part of it at the moment, and it makes a... I just a wonderful sound the one you grill. Okay, I'm sorry, you're breaking up a little bit. I'm having a hard time hearing you. You said you have a five-year-old. Did you say it was a gas grill? Yes, it's a gas grill. Okay, and how much do you want for that, sir? I want $300 for that. Okay, and what's a good phone number where folks can reach you? What's up? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Great. We really love to get those phone calls here on 540 WRGC. Tradio is a call-in show, so unfortunately we cannot always uh, monitor what happens on the 540 airwaves here, unfortunately. 586-9742 is the phone number. Tradio at WRGC.com is the email address. And we did have some email listings come in over the weekend. We are back. 586-9742 is our phone number. Tradio at WRGC.com is our email address. And you can send over those email listings to us, or you can give us a phone call, 586-9742. Hi, you're on Tradio. What can we do for you today? Hello. Hi, what can we do for you? Fuck you. Fuck you. 5869742 and I'd like to remind everyone that you know if you want to make a prank call to Tradio it's a felony you can't you know make prank calls uh, and have that on the airwaves we are monitored and regulated by the FCC and uh, so when you're uh, at home thinking about calling us up just keep that in mind it is a it is a felony offense and uh, we do record your phone numbers but you want to call us up if it's something to buy sell or trade you want to make a serious call 5869742 is the phone number hi you're on Tradio what can we do for you today yes I've got a four wheeler for sale All right. Well, I guess we just lost a phone call. 5869742 again is the phone number and we'll talk about some of the listings we had here from earlier in the week. Oh, here we go. You're on Tradio. What can we do for you? Uh, do you have a refrigerator at home? I mean, your own personal one. Excuse me? <laughs> Chandler, do you have a refrigerator at home, your own personal refrigerator? Well, I don't really like to discuss the details of my private home with callers. How you doing no. today? Well, I'm, I'm fine. This is Earl. I'm not a Earl, don't guy. prank call me about my refrigerator. thought you were going to ask well, me. Well, I wanted to know if it was running, because if it is, you better go catch it. Now, that's a prank phone call. Right? I mean, come on now. I've obviously never heard of the FCC and what's going on right now you know what if you got, if you have time to make phone calls like that to people then you obviously need to do something else with yourself like maybe get a job so what you got Good. going on today earl you got a sale going on uh well yeah we got four sheds open we're trying to clean some stuff out and I'm, uh, i got some pretty good old deals going on and stuff i uh i'm not getting short for this old world uh I told you I was going to go up and go to college, Tennessee, with none of them, didn't I? No, this is no lapping matter. We're on to you. Don't you call this number again. I know, we, we, we know who you are. I, I know what you want to do. You called and put some obscenity on my radio station a few minutes ago. That's against federal law. I don't know if you know that or not, but that is a felony. No, you're you're not you you don't use uh, profanity on the radio. You forget you ever heard this radio station. I don't want you calling this number again. Do you understand me? Well you better. Don't you call this number again, five eight six nine seven four two. You better not call this number again or you'll find yourself in trouble. 
I know that's what you want, but if you want on this radio station, you come see me face to face and you bring money. I mean, if you want on this radio station, you call me at 586-9742, make up an appointment, and you bring money when you buy ads on this radio station. You you don't have an item for sale. You want to talk obscenity on this radio station. You get off the air right now. Yes. Okay, great. Well, your number's being traced right now and sent to the authorities, so... I want to Just sell keep on the line for another couple of minutes. Where do I live? I don't know. You tell me where you live, since you're so smart. Tell me now. If you are so smart, trace me. I just did. You have and a get me arrested. Us. Thanks. This is Andy. Hello, Andy. Yes, uh, I called about. Um, I wanted. I had some information for you. Okay. Uh, you got uh, now. You are aware that you got several obscene calls during the trio. Right. Yes, I know the source of those calls. Okay. Okay. <clears> there, <throat> several of them are from uh, the, you know, the Howard Stern show. Okay. Yes, it's uh, apparently my brother works there. Uh, he says that they have been calling you and uh, a few of their members there. It seems they like to harass local radio stations. I was wondering if that information would be useful to you. Yeah, well, we knew it was Howard Stern a few weeks ago because we were able to trace the number, but this one was coming from Unavailable, and it was uh, it was just kind of a... A weird situation because it looked like it was coming from multiple people, and then they were using a like a computer uh, instead of their actual voice. They were using a computer for it to respond uh, back to us. So that was kind of new. <laughs> yeah, I are guess, you uh, I guess are you that... calling from the local area? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, fair, fairly near. Uh, but, yeah, my brother works there. Uh, he did warn me. Uh, well, I, I knew that he did like to prank old Tradio, so I gave him a call, and he did confirm that a few members of the show had me calling using uh, uh, private numbers. Yeah, okay. Well, we appreciate the information. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, you know... I don't know how that how that could be resolved because obviously it's one thing to call in and have some crazy something for sale, but then when you start using that sort of language on an FCC, uh, you know, uh, licensed station, you're that's a different story. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, but uh, I think it's technically legal. Uh, I think there's a loophole that they use. But, uh, yeah, hopefully the prank calls will stop and you can get back to uh, work. Yeah. Okay. Well, we appreciate the information. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye.